Hey Crafty friends, how was everyone's weekend? I hope you all had an amazing weekend. I did. I really enjoyed myself doing tons of creating and playing with my skeleton hands, which I can't get enough of. <laughs> I'm going to decorate these next, I think. But we are here to do um, our October daily for October 16th, halfway through the month. No, it's going by too fast. But, <sighs> sorry, um, the hashtags that we are following are Hashtag October 23, hosted by April from Pink Albert and Priscilla from Release the Crafter. And also, hashtag October Daily Art Journal 2023, hosted by Tony over at Tony's Witchy Art and Crafts. Other ladies following along are Leslie from Silverman Creations, Bex from Black Whisper Crafts. Um, Lori from PewDiePie Designs, Harmony from Harmony's Creations, and BB from BB's Closet Creations. Is that everybody? I didn't miss anybody today. I'm so sleepy, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that was everybody, but I will post, uh, list everybody in the description box like I always do. So, let's get started. Let's see here. Where are we at? Here we go. So this was our last page. And no, it wasn't. This was our last page. Ah, we ran screaming from the clowns. That's right. We got the witch skeleton lady. Now we got the clowns. And here we are, day 16. Unnerved you, st unnerved, you stumble away and bump into another park employee. It turns out he's the mechanic for the rides. You ask if he can help with your car troubles. Pausing for a moment, he looks at you, smiles, and walks away. As he walks away, he drops a tool. Which tool did he drop? And here's our page. We got this awesome crow up top. And then we got this dude who seems pretty normal at first. But then look at his balloon. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know. He does give me the creeps though. But he dropped this wrench. So we are snatching up this wrench and we are keeping it. Because we might be able to use this to fix our car ourselves. And I did keep the bloody knives for my, um, in the center of my signature that was in the original journal that I was using made by Lori. Because I thought, what a perfect journal for these bloody knives to be in than this journal. This is the journal for these knives. Oop. Sorry, I'm going a little crazy with my skeleton hands. Let me put it down for a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm awake now. So that's all we got for today in this journal. But I was able to do some super fun arts in my arts journal over the weekend. So we're going to look at one of those pages. Here's our chain. And here is what I made. So first of all, I got these amazing paints. Okay, it's one of the dark cards, guys. These ones have been on my mind for ever since the first ones, and I couldn't resist. They were $7.99. And it's Renaissance Colors. And the color palette I went with was West End 2 Color Shifts. We have Shaftsbury, Peacock, 
Adolfo something, Victoria Adelphi Cambridge. Gorgeous paints. And she sent me a freebie. Can you believe it? Even with this little small order, she still sent us a freebie. And it it's perfect. So here is the card. Oh, wrong side. Renaissance colors. Handmade watercolors on Etsy. And here's all of their other information. Let me make sure this is focused. So you can see clearly. Show them some love. They are international. They're located in uh, England. But she does have a flat uh, $6 shipping which is totally affordable because shoot that's cheaper than half the shipping that we have here in the united states so totally doable the dot car was 7.99 and these colors are amazing and now i'm gonna try let me stand up i'm gonna try to get you guys to be able to see the color shift on camera Oh, it's not showing. You guys can see the metallic, but you guys aren't seeing the color shift. At least not through my screen. I hope that you guys are seeing it because it's not showing on my screen that you guys can see it. What a bummer. So I made this pocket with pumpkins. And this is um, my homemade rust water. So this is one color variation, but this turns to magenta. This purple turns to magenta. This green turns to blue. This turns to orange and this like a goldish orange and this turns to a greenish orange. And then this green turns to blue and this blue turns to purple. Oh, how frustrating. Let's try and see if you can see it on these flowers they painted. It really isn't showing. <laughs> the color shift on camera is so frustrating. I really want you guys to see the amazingness. How does she, cause she films it. I'm trying to see how, how does she film it? I mean, she photographs it anyway, where you can see the color shift. You know, there's other light, lights on here. Let's try. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's see what happens with this. Nope. Well, you can still see how amazing these paints are. I just wish you could see the color shift as well. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how she photographs the color shift. That's an interesting phenomena that I don't know how to figure out <laughs> because I'm telling you what these pumpkins <laughs> you guys it's so funny I've been sitting here and I rock forward and backward forward and backward because it totally the entire this entire image completely changes if I lean forward or if I sit back so I'd be looking 
probably funny if anybody was watching me because I keep leaning forward and leaning back, leaning forward and leaning back because I freaking love the color shift and I want to share it with you guys so bad. But you have to trust me that it's amazing and um, I just wanted to make a painting using these paintings and something I know I could do freehand painting is flowers. So I did the flowers and then I was like, you know, this is kind of a fallish journal. It doesn't have to all be fall related though. But I was like, well, I'll just make my pop my pocket. I'll paint um some pumpkins. And I think they came out good. They're cute. I love them. And thanks for stopping by to check out my journals today, guys. And I can't wait to see what everybody else is doing today. And I hope you all have an amazing Monday. Bye.